shooting with the Kansas Highway Patrol CERT team. We're going to be using our Fort Scott 168 308. Fort Scott. And setting up our clear ballistic. This is 10% gelatin. We're going to simulate just an open air shot on soft tissue. <clears throat> I'm not sure our distance, maybe 100 yards with this, but I'm going to heat this up with a torch real quick so we can get these wrinkles out so we can see the wound channels a little bit easier. Just letting them see wound channels before we start getting to the barriers. Right. One of our rounds yep. first. Because it's probably going to hit that block hard enough to flip it or something, so we'll probably have to readjust it so that way it's straight on again, and then we'll shoot it again. Yep. It stayed. That's good. It's always good to see that, so you see that it's going to penetrate through there, so you know if ours goes through it, yours does too. So now we just need to see repeatability and penetration capabilities and all that. But we can go ahead and shoot our uh, Fort Scott 168 solid copper through there and show you a difference in wound channels. We're going to shoot our 168 grain T, uh, TYs through there next. Yeah. So there's your difference with ours. You can see how big that wound channel is in there without anything in front of it. So your first four inches of a 10% block simulate skin. So once you're inside the body, then you get that nasty, nasty tumble. And that wound channel, permanent wound channel there, but the temporary is probably about four to six inches bigger than that. Yep. Yeah, you can tell because you got your... Yeah, you got your Palmer. Yeah. TUI. Yep. Yeah. When I tell people, it's kind of like every time it tumbles, it's like opening a parachute. It just slows it down that much more drag because you hold the whole length of the projectile slowing it down. Here, this is going to be our second shot, um, second test. We're going to be shooting this gel block inside the car. We're going to go through the windshield. We're going to shoot this gel block with one of our Fort Scott 168 TUI rounds through the windshield. We're shooting from a berm, shooting this direction probably maybe 95 yards, about 100 yards right in that range. All right, uh, we're going to shoot our Fort Scott. Uh, 308 168 grain TUI solid copper uh, through this vehicle's windshield into gel. Uh, we set up about 75 yards, so we'll see uh, how our products perform. Yeah, we're ready. Okay, boy, look at that wind channel. Good golly. Look at that. Okay, there you go. Yikes, don't get hit by that. There you go. So what do you see with your guys' stuff? Not bad. That's nasty. But that's that's the thing. Where was your point of aim, point of impact? I just held right in the center of that box. So pretty close then. So I mean, not much deflection at all, but that wound track is devastating. It was coming this there, direction right here. Yeah, but, <clears throat> but look at how much, how much velocity lo uh, loss you've got here. I mean, that thing's really slowing down. There it is. Yeah. It stayed in the headrest. There you go. That's what I'm saying. That loss of velocity because it's tumbling every time it yaws over like that. It's really like a parachute opening up. It's slowing itself down with all that drag. <clears throat> but even with that front end smash like that, it still has that weight distribution to cause that thing to tumble upon impact. That's huge. Why are you gonna shoot one of the other competition now? We have that federal bonded. No, let's we can shoot ours. Okay. That's it. All right, we're gonna shoot um, their 308 uh, duty ammo that they've been using right now. Um, same test going through the windshield into uh, clear ballistic 10% gelatin blocks. Yeah, 
That's okay. about two inches in, two to three. You got several different holes in it too, which is like say, kind of a nice feature. Yeah, I mean, look at how much that thing blew apart before it even got past the four inch mark. Yeah. So your round is effectively disintegrated before it even got inside the skin. Yeah. So it's there, there. There's another piece oh, there over is, here. Yeah, I can see it all over that thing. It's crazy. So next shot we're gonna be doing, um, we're gonna be shooting 308 duty rounds versus Fort Scott TUI. It's gonna be going through uh, residential glass into gel behind it. <laughs> Got him. This is double oh. oh, threw it way back there. Oh, <laughs> oh well, there, there, yeah. Hey, there hey. <laughs> There's that tumble. Yuck. Yeah. Just tested our 168 and then followed up with a, another duty 308 round through residential double pane glass. And we're just going to check to see how the gel blocks performed with these rounds going through that glass and see how it. How it interacted here. Looks like the jacket of the bullet actually blew apart again. Yeah, you can see it over here. All this fragmentation from that projectile just exploding as it's going through there. You just went, what you got? Big fragmentation through there. Um, and then their line of work, that's a lot of liability coming through that glass. All right, yeah, we're going to shoot we're some uh, groupings here at 110 yards with our Fort Scott Munitions 168 grain solid copper TY. Yeah, we've been testing uh, bare gel, just shooting it by itself. Then we've shot through windshields and uh, some in, uh, residential glass, you know, testing other barriers. But now we're just going to test for groupings now. Um, these are our Fort Scott Munitions 308 168s and the 175s have the Daniel Defense Delta 5 bolt action rifles.